Alexander Gustafsson returns to action at UFC on ESPN Plus 11, headlining the promotion's return to Sweden in a light heavyweight tilt between vanquished contenders. Gustafsson's last fight? A disappointing third-round loss to current 205-pound champion John Jones at UFC 232 in December of 2018. His opponent, Anthony Smith, who fell to Jones two months later at UFC 235. The fight is a chance for Gustafsson to move on from his defeat and confirm his place at the top of the light heavyweight rankings. The Mauler is currently ranked third, behind John Jones and Daniel Cormier, but a loss to Smith would be a huge blow to his standing. We thought it might be a good time to look at exactly where Gustafsson stands right now amongst all his European peers and answer the question. Is Alexander Gustafsson the best UFC fighter out of Europe? It's interesting to note that Europe actually doesn't have too many fighters ranked across the UFC's top 10. The region holds 19 spots across 11 UFC divisions, and we're being as inclusive as possible when defining Europe. That means we factor in the UK and the Republic of Ireland, Russia, and the Caucasus. There's only three European fighters above Gustafsson as far as rankings go. Khabib Nurmagomedov, who holds the number one slot as lightweight champion, Valentina Shevchenko, number one and champion at women's flyweight, and Jermaine Durandami, who holds a number two ranking at women's bantamweight. Durandami isn't thought of much when considering the best European UFC fighters, but unlike Gustafsson, she does have the distinction of being a UFC champion, even if she was stripped of her inaugural women's featherweight title several months after winning it for refusing to fight Chris Cyborg. When you're factoring the belts in the equation, you can't ignore number four ranked Conor McGregor. The Irish fighter held the UFC featherweight and lightweight titles simultaneously, becoming the first ever UFC double champ. And while he never defended either belt, his resume and stature would put him above Gustafsson if he ever returns to active competition. We haven't seen him in the cage since losing to current 155-pound champ Habib Nurmagomedov, whose victories over some of the toughest names in the lightweight division make him a strong contender for best European fighter. Another past European UFC fighter to keep in mind is Joanna Janjicic, who defended her UFC women's strawweight title five times over two and a half years. Ranked fourth at women's strawweight and fifth at women's flyweight, she struggled recently going 1-3 since November of 2017. Her last loss was a flyweight title fight to Valentina Shevchenko. And whether you place Shevchenko above Gustafsson depends on how you consider accomplishments in the women's division comparing to the legitimacy of Gustafsson in the tough 205-pound division. So here's how we rank it. In the end, we have to put Habib Nurmagomedov in the top spot for best European UFC fighter. It's not just his ranking or record, it's how he's beaten guys. Dominance of this level hasn't been seen since George St. Pierre. Conor McGregor comes in second off his accomplishments and the ridiculous UFC run from 2013 to 2016 that made him into a superstar. He's hanging onto that spot by a thread though. We put Gustafsson in as the third best European UFC fighter, but to really put a stamp on his position, He's going to have to become known for his big wins, not close losses. His wars against John Jones and Daniel Cormier prove he's undoubtedly one of the greatest fighters in the world. But results matter. Valentina Shevchenko comes in fourth for us, given her champion status, and reason show of skills against Joanna Jandrzejczyk, outclassing her handily. Jandrzejczyk is no slouch herself, which is why we slot her at number five.